Hello everyone, I'm Chantelle Day, your local weather lady, and I'm here to give you a quick special report on the recent anomalies with the animals worldwide. Now, recent headlines are filled with mass deaths of birds, fish, and other marine life, and speculations and hype in the mainstream media include articles with titles like a flock ellipse and claim that power lines fireworks and dropping temperatures, even dense fog, are to blame. Now, I personally have an issue with this, and I just find it really hard to believe. I don't think it's a coincidence, and I also believe that these deaths are related. Uh, mass animal deaths aren't unheard of, especially in the last decade or so, but not so many simultaneously on a worldwide scale. Now, here's a list, really quickly, I have compiled of the most recent mass animal deaths. There's been 4,000 birds over the last five weeks in Western Australia. On the 1st of January, 5,000 birds in Arkansas, thousands of birds in Kentucky. On the 2nd and 3rd, 450 birds in Louisiana. January 4th, hundreds of birds in Sweden, 100,000 drumfish in Arkansas. January 5th, 200 birds in Texas, 40,000 devil crabs and other marine life in Britain, hundreds of fish in New Zealand, 100 tons of sardines, croaker, and catfish in Brazil. On January 6th, thousands of fish in Florida, thousands of fish in South Carolina, and two million fish in Chesapeake Bay in Maryland have washed to the shores. Now, there's lots of theories about what this cost could, could possibly be causing this, and I am a firm believer that this has something to do with our magnetic field. And in the coming days, I will be doing an in-depth report on what could possibly, what, how to prove my theory that it is a magnetic field. In the meantime, I challenge you to go out there and get on your computer and go see how it is possible that the magnetic field could cause these deaths on your own so you can compare it to mine in the next couple of days. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys on Monday.